What's that you say? You think the motherboard on your Elite Book is dead? I don't think so. Right on its cover, the good book tells us don't panic. I'm Pokey, I'm from the internet, and I'm here to help. <coughs> this is my Elite Book 2570P. And the forum posts on the internet would have you believe that it has a dead motherboard. If I connect the power to this, the battery's out right now. If I connect the power to this, you see the power and battery lights come on solid white. And it's very difficult to see, but the battery light is also flashing yellow very consistently. It's hard to see with the naked eye, but if you put a piece of paper in front of it, you can sort of focus it until it becomes very clear. Um, if you look at it at just the right angle, you can also see it. It's hard to find. It just kind of, it's aimed in a different direction as the white light. And it's very focused, so you really can't see it. So you can see the power light is also on here on the power button. If I try to power this up, nothing happens. If you search online in your favorite search engine for these symptoms, you'll be directed to a number of forum posts, all of whom, or all of which, I suppose, misdiagnose this as a bad motherboard. This is not a bad motherboard. This is a very good motherboard. And I'll tell you why. This motherboard is in a fail-safe mode. It is protecting itself from a dead short that would blow something up if it were allowed to fully power up. Probably blow up the power MOSFETs um, that are right under the power button and right by the, the power cord. Uh, there's a, a very good video on YouTube where a guy is diagnosing those MOSFETs and uh, kind of fixing the motherboard because of it. But I believed, foolishly believed, those forum posts that said that this laptop had a bad motherboard. And I replaced the motherboard in this laptop. And guess what? It's the exact same condition. Flashing yellow light, no power, won't boot, won't post. What I did to correctly diagnose this was I started unplugging different cords and different modules from the motherboard until the symptom cleared up. And what finally cleared it up was when I disconnected my keyboard. There's a ribbon cable right under here as most, if not all, modern laptops will have. Disconnect that power cord, uh, excuse me, that keyboard plug it back in. No error, no light. This thing powers right up now. <coughs> so, if someone's told you that your Elite Book has a bad motherboard because of that flashing light and its refusal to boot, um, they may be incorrect. You may have a bad keyboard or some other component that is just shorted out and causing it to go into that fail-safe mode. So check it out. These things are worth fixing, in my opinion. Uh, they're great little laptops. So that's it. That's all I got for you. Thank you very much for watching. Happy hacking.